guys do you like sweet fragrances it's gonna be the most gimmicky video ever because i'm gonna be putting all my sweetness in this video i'm not gonna care for people what's the opinion many of these fragrances are mainstream some of the fragrances are too sweet but yeah i love sweet fragrance i realize that i have a lot of sweet fragrance in my collection every year i have done this for the last two years i think uh 2019 20 um somewhere in the last one just one year or a little bit more back i did uh the top 20 or top 15 sweet fragrances okay so sweetness basically can come from different different things you know i love sweet things i love chocolates i'm diabetic you guys know i'm sugar overloaded <laughs> so uh this is basically one of my favorite chocolates caramel uh crisp from Kit Kat. I do love a lot of uh, sweetness in my fragrances too. So basically for this video, I am wearing a uh, sweet perfume from women's side, which I'm not gonna feature here because I believe uh, I have quite a few women's fragrances that should be in this list, but I will do a separate list for that. That is uh, La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is a sweet rose, a lot of fruitiness, it's very sexy, it's like a majestic fragrance, okay? so. Uh, I think you should brace yourself for a very long video because I have quite a few fragrances even though there are 50 entries but some of them have two, some of them have three joint entries, right? And I'll take my sweet time. I want to put like sweet fragrance list so you guys can basically, uh, you know, uh, try them. And many fragrances are missing from last year. Uh, doesn't mean these are absolute the only best, okay? For the time being, I would pick these, okay? And according to my liking. And this can change any time part of the year. But for the current mood, these are my top 15 slash a little bit more uh, sweet fragrance because some of the entries are kind of similar. So I put them as a joint entry. So uh, I want to put uh, one uh, honorable mention. This one didn't make the list, but very good line, very good line. But I think I have better fragrances than this line, which I'll show in a bit. In the top 10, it will appear. But the honorable mention is Salvatore Ferragamo Vomo Signature. Uh, this is basically a... Uh, what you call like flanker to the original Vomo. Uh, all of them are sweet, got this nice coffee, uh, sort of pastry, uh, you know, like tiramisu note in the original. This one has a little bit more leather, chocolate, dark, you know, very dark sweetness from it. Very, very strong dark chocolate as well. And very nice bottle. I really like this. And I have some, lot of fragrance similar to this, which made to this list. So uh, wait for it, okay? So this is the honorable mention, Salvatore Ferragamo Vomo signature. So let's hit the main list. Number 15, I'm going to start with the fragrance I present to you, Invictus Intense. And many people think these fragrances are should be banned, like banned from fragrance community. Reason being they're too sweet, they're too gimmicky, they're too trophy-like. So these are supposedly uh, causing cancer out there for people with so much sugar. But I think that's good for people like us. We love sweet fragrance. We love tacky bottles, isn't it? <laughs> but it's okay. It's not the bottle. I like this quite like this bottle because of dark nature. This basically is the most mature Invictus in the line. Check out my review. It has everything. Sweet, boozy, leather, tobacco, tonka bean. Uh, I think there are many other notes in there and it's kind of like a very sensual, seductive fragrance. Got me a lot of compliments, so made the list. And I have actually many other fragrances. I can make like multiple lists with this fragrance that I have. But today I will feature Invictus Intense by Paco Rabanne, number 15. Number 14, I will feature this one. It's crowd favorite, Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. This is the sweetest of them all. I really like the whole line. I have quite a few. I think I have five or six. Uh, but the reason I'm putting this here, I think the sweetness is amped up in this one. You know, like the one is nice. It has tropical, fruity, amber, uh, fruit punch sort of feel with that cigar note. But when you smell this, you got to give it to this. This is one of the sexiest uh, DNA of uh, any fragrance, you know, game. Many fragrances are built on this sort of a backbone with the amber, you know, like this nice sweetness, thick sweetness, and then kind of like Havana cigar with a rich juice color. And you got to give them props, okay? So Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP is number 14. Number 13, we're going to go with, I'm going with not performance. I'm going with smell that I prefer, okay? Number 13, I'm going to go with Pure Tonka by Thierry Mugler. Sorry, sorry about the dust. Ah, damn. My poor attempt to make it a bit cleaner. Let my get hand get messy. Okay, there you go. Dust gone. You know, <laughs> just joking. I gotta have. I have to wash my hand. Anyway, Pure Tonka is now discontinued, as far as I know. And this was basically, I think, Thierry Mugler time, and uh, probably the last fragrance to be released under Thierry Mugler. You know. So the thing is about Thierry Mugler. Uh, 
pure tonka is that it's extremely sweet with the spicy tonka and it's like smells like a gingerbread you know like during the christmas time gingerbread cookies very christmasy very strong it's the oh man if you don't take a shower this is not gonna leave your skin it's ultra be small okay definitely get a bottle before it totally disappears or prices go high okay pure tonka by thierry mugler number 13. number 12 i have to feature this fragrance i have actually two fragrances i think from this line or three or four for that matter which are all sweet but i give credit to the original today this is low medial by gelan okay uh, such a classic bottle i mean i had this fragrance i had the whole line almost and i sold it off for i don't know what reason but i am actually beginning to collect them all i have now about five i have one more or a couple more to go the in towns version and the sport but this one has a beautiful amen uh, the leather sweetness this is a beautiful sweet is the cherry in there? I don't think so. The EDP has the cherry, but man, when you smell this, you know, it literally is a classy gentleman with a lot of sophistication, with great performance. I get good performance from this, okay? Um, these are picking up price for some reason. I don't know why, because they're going higher in price. Get this, get, get this while it's still affordable, okay? Low medial, EDT by Guerlain. Number 12. Number 11, as you can tell, I actually leaving out a lot of fragrances. One great fragrance that you can see right behind me is La Nuit de didn't make the list. Uh, so many people can be upset, but you know, at times you leave out some of your favorite fragrance to give chance to some other ones, okay? So number 11 is such a fragrance. I have story with each perfume, okay? I, uh, these fragrances grew, grew on me over the years. Some of them are recent, but, but the sweetness, literally, this is a sweet list. So if you talk about sweet, this is a sweet, boozy, whiskey fragrance. This is CH Man Privé. I do have a older batch somewhere there, and I have this uh, after reformulation or let's say, not the vintage bad sort of you know it's fine the colder months this the sweet twist you know and the pomelo or something like a plum there's a sharp fruity tone to it and the sweet whiskey and the leather combination it's so beautiful it's a women uh, crowd pleaser not women crowd pleaser it's a crowd pleaser nobody seems to hate the smell it's super sexy women compliment you definitely my gf complimented me this is one of her favorite she loves this even more than bloody chanel sabosh or uh, for that matter uh, Chanel Alirom Sport of Extreme, that tells a story. When you wear a leather jacket and this, pair with this, it's a sexy combination. First two hours of this fragrance, you can blow away anybody, okay? Not literally like, you know, in a violent way, but with your fragrance, you know? So CH Man Preview is my number 11. So now we are hitting top 10, okay? Here we go, start the joint entries, okay? Uh, these two fragrances are absolute for me, uh, bangers. Both of them you can get. They are similar to something very posh and expensive, but these are also a little bit on the higher side, but much affordable than, much more affordable than the original one. We're talking about Baccarat Rouge, which is a sweet cotton candy fragrance, you know? So that one has, uh, okay, there you go. I've shown you by mistake, fixing my glasses. Okay, uh, that one, <laughs> Baccarat Rouge, is a very sweet, candied, and then kind of orangey, uh, very expensive perfume. People seem to love it for the number of years, but I show you today, Bacchus Rouge alternatives. First thing is Instant Crush by Mancera. Okay, I'm showing you, I think, for some reason, my older bottle, which is a screw on cap. I also have a almost full bottle of Magnetic Top. Trust me, they're both uh, good performers. Perhaps the older version lasted two hours more, but both are beastly. Other one I'm going to show you is Arabian Oud Basma. Some of the Arabian Ouds made the list because they're all sweet. I bought them for the very same reason. So, Joint entry number 10, Mansara Instant Crush and Basma by Arabian Oud. If you love Baccarat Rouge, you can get that or these as alternatives. Both these last for me much better than Baccarat Rouge, but you know, to each his own. Number nine, it's talking about Arabian Oud. I'm going to feature some Arabian Ouds. That's for sure. This is Kalemat Black. Okay. I have chosen this over the Kalemat because I think this is more wearable, more sweetheart and more compliment garner sort of fragrance if you let it sit in your collection by any chance by for two years the juice color will change to orange okay this is now slightly yellow this will change to i have the vintage version some, somewhere check out my re review uh like comparison between kalemat black and kalemat uh those two when i sh compare i showed the vintage version of this okay so what a fantastic fragrance if you like chocolatey sort of like a more wearable westernized wood kalemat black will blow you away this is kalemat black or saharal kalimat number nine amazing fragrance okay number eight joint entry number two two of the best of the best of jean paul Gaultier house okay i do love a lot of the other perfumes but these two for sweet category ultra male and lamal le parfum 
uh, both I really love. I even prefer the original, uh, not sorry, the latest one, La Molle Parfum over this. I did say so because it's not reformulated, it's sweet, more modern, got pear, cardamom, iris, whatever notes you like, this one has it all. It has it also the some characteristic of La Molle, Ultra Male. It's a masterpiece. Basically, I love this. I have a 200 ml, but I don't want to leave out Ultra Male because I also love the pear, pineapple goodness in this. Also got the bubblegum sweetness. These two, you can absolutely have and you will never regret compliment beast and super sweet okay ultra male and la molle puffo that's number eight number seven arabian wood i'm gonna show you all my arabian wood today uh, this is asil special edition by arabian wood uh, the reason being i wanted to leave this one out particularly for this list because you know i'm showing too many of uh, arabian wood but the thing is trust me i bought this because they are sweet and very beast mode these are very powerful perfumes if you do love some uh, sweet vanilla leather and some fruity notes this is something you have to try this is literally a niche fragrance okay it will literally like fill up whole area if you do like tobacco vini tuscan leather this one has a lot more power to those okay sometimes you feel like it's a mix between tobacco vini and tuscan leather for some reason because of the leather and then vanilla but this one has a gourmand touch when you smell it good lord this is like literally has some Fahrenheit vibes as well, like a little bit of petroleum somewhere. So this is super fire fragrance, you know, like this is fine fragrance. Arabian wool, one of the best I ever bought. This is Asil Special Edition. Okay, this is uh, number seven, I think. Yeah, so number six is a three-way tie. Things just getting worse to worse. <laughs> First one I'm going to show you is Hugo Boss, the scent private accord, okay? Why is this here swap in the order? Because I wanted to make a three-way tie, you know? Otherwise, if it's a just single entry, it can be, you know, like last five perhaps. Yeah, I agree. But if you see the other two, you'll see the connection. Boss Private Accord perhaps is not a beast mode performer, but the longest lasting in this line, one thing. Second thing is the smell. You get the nice sort of cacao, chocolatey, uh, Maninka is going on, nice, nice uh, orange going on, very gourmand, very chocolatey, very mouth-watering sort of opening. And dry down is really good, got this leather going on. This is one of the best from this house, okay? This is my first entry. I really love this. Similar to that, I'll show you Valentino Vumo Intense. One of the, again, discontinued gems. I don't know why they discontinue it. And some people say still available, whatever. If you have to get this. Valentino Vumo Intense is powerful. Got this sweetness, you know, like iris, leather. Uh, this one fills up a room. Literally, I don't know what people are talking about. Great performer for winter. Just put it on. You'll get a lot of sexy attention from people like, mm. even from guys. You know, that's not wanted if you're a straight guy. But hell, it gets compliments. Valentino Wintons, the second one. The last one in this list, I think is the most upper class one. And I could have made it number one today. But, you know, I prefer the next five a little bit more. Okay. That is uh, Dior Wintons. All-time classic. You know, it will come back to my list over and over again. Love this. It's a masterpiece. You guys know. So these are three joint entries. Okay. I, I, I don't think I can. Yeah, I can carry all of them. All three as joint entry in this. Okay. So I have now one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Top five. Top five are the ones that today pushed Durham Intense a little bit down there. But Durham Intense, again, my, my signature scent. So no compromise. Okay. But uh, let me just show you some fragrance I do feel the sweetness is a little bit more and uh, I love them for the sweetness okay number five by Killian okay I'm gonna show you both my by Killians because I have them what you're gonna do but this is Princess Rose de Mai uh, I'm not showing this because I bought it okay that's one reason it's a silly reason but uh, main reason I'm showing you this the amount of sweetness in this perfume this is such a cheerful discontinued again just check out my review on this you'll understand my love for it i give it perfection 10 i think uh, such a sweet rose different kind of roses and then they got this matcha tea uh, i think there's praline or vanilla a lot of things involved totally don't remember but one of the sweetest perfumes by killian uh, ever made i really love this and 100 ml really makes me happy number five number four tom ford noir femme identical juice almost to tom ford noir extreme but this is actually more creamier uh, darker more mysterious got this beautiful orange liquid inside uh, the thing is what you get from this cool fee that uh, cardamom but the cardamom is a little bit am down and it's a little bit like a lipsticky sort of sticky sensation when you put it on it's so mysterious something you want to eat up that mysterious and seductive i love this way over black orchid okay uh, you can get noir extreme definitely no problem for the guys but this one 
performs way better on me okay but both of them are very long lasting tom ford is one of the best perfumes ever tom ford noir femme number three number two this is Mason Martin Margiela by The Fireplace. I was going to feature uh, Stronger With You intensely or absolutely or original one. They all basically somewhat smells like this, but this one has some added notes with the roasted chestnut. It has a smoky uh, by The Fireplace feel, which I really love. So I think this is a lot more premium and posh than Stronger With You intensely, which I love. If that one gets a 9, this one gets a 10. This is the reason why I picked it today. Just try it. This fragrance is a little bit expensive. They're on the higher side. They don't ever discount their perfumes. Even the tester costs the same almost like the full bottle. But what a beauty. You know, just let me spray once. Just remind myself. This literally like one of my best fragrance for winter when I reach for it. It's when you go out. It's super long lasting too. <sighs> yeah, this is a fragrance. Okay, by the fireplace by Mason Martin Margiela replica. Number two is similar to that which has a lot of amber, I think it has a lot of gingery property, got this vanilla and the reason perhaps I'm not showing you Nishane Ani today is this perfume. This is supremely posh, luxurious looking perfume. This, uh, the bottle design, the concept, it's all good and this is 10 out of 10 fragrance. You really have to try this once in your life. This is Atelier uh, Lone Feline, okay, or Feline with the gold uh gimmicky thing inside yeah some people may say you don't need it but i think it gives this really nice look really heavy cap heavy bottle feels like a pebble and looks like a cat's eye okay that's it lunfeline um just check out my review how much i love this i will do a, a list Oof, so good it's so so good this is basically uh i would say sexier version of honey because both of them have some common elements but this one has a little bit more spicy amber to say the least Grand Soir meets Ani, sort of like this is what you get. But end of the year, I'm going to make like a top 10 fragrance I bought this year, which is going to be the super list of all time. Let me see if I actually make it <laughs> end of the year. It's not funny though. Uh, God, keep me here. Okay. But this fragrance highly likely will feature there. Okay. Top 10 or top 15 best fragrance I bought this year out of the odd 300 perfumes or a lot more I bought this year. Okay. Number two, Lunfeline. Number one, sweet fragrance, three-way tie. And you'll be like, mm, mm, why did you make it like top 50? You know, like wasting our time and stuff, you know? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I love that. You know, like you guys like to give me attention. I like to seek your attention, you know? So here we go. First fragrance, number one is going to be, all three are very similar. I find them to be similar. You can get each one you'll never regret. First one is Angel Muse by Terry Mugler. It's a women's perfume, I swore. I'm not going to show you one, but somehow accidentally made it. Uh, because I feel it's a very unisex perfume. Guys can easily wear it if you like sweet perfumes. Uh, second reason is got this nice sort of caramel slash, I think there's a note of praline, vanilla, and it's, uh, people say toned down version of original uh, Angel, which I also have. I have to show you as a proof. I have the Angel, very dark juice version of a vintage, okay? That's a very powerful perfume, sweet fragrance, but I prefer this by miles. Any day, you can wear it any part of the year, but sweet, caramelized, um, Fragrance, you know, like praline is nice. It's something you want to eat. If you like this, check out the next one, which I prefer according to the list. The last one is going to be the most preferred one in this top three. This is going to be Wojan by Parfum de Marley. Parfum de Marley, basically, you know, I love their bottles, heavy presentation, 120 ml juice always is nice and more affordable. Niche house, I like this, okay? So this got the cinnamon, got the honey, and it, some say Embrin Argile, and this one is similar, or Meharis. But this one is own character, okay? I think it's a bit sweet. It got some spices. It got a lot of honey, gooey honey, you know? Uh, let me, you know what? I'm going to show you four fragrances. Wait. Yeah, what happened was there's a big mix-up because I forgot one of my favorite fragrances in this list, which I'm going to feature in number one because I love that as well. When you talk about the honey, this is not the best. Oja, number one. Sorry, number two, after Angel Muse. Th third one I'm going to show you is this one, which I forgot a big crime it would be. If you love honey, you gotta try this perfume. 1821 Sweet Tobacco Spirit, masterpiece. Got the red wine accord, got the tobacco, got the sweetness, gooey honey. If you want sweet, if you like things sweet, this is gonna be sweeter than your girlfriend. Trust me. I was gonna say something very naughty, girlfriend something, but then this is gonna be better than that. I cannot say because my family members sometimes watch it. But 1821 Sweet Tobacco Spirit is number three, top spot. Number one, what is my sweet, sweetest perfume that I love? I didn't feature pure mall. I didn't feature language alarm. Eesh, you know, <laughs> people are like, 
hell with this guy. But anyway, too much talk. Let's finish this with a lot of honor, a lot of love. As you can see, one of my beautiful fragrance missing here. You can guess what's going to be my favorite. My most favorite fragrance at this moment in my collection. I love this so much. By Gillian Angel Share. I love this over single malt. I love this over apple brandy. I love this over any boozy fragrance they have because of the sweetness. And this good lord, this one is sweet. Ah, you can literally like, you know, turn yourself on by sniffing this. Ah, yeah, you know, that's disturbing. But this is a fragrance I would say you must buy if you can afford it. It's expensive for 50 mil because by Killian, but for the bottle, for the juice color, for the presentation and for the smell, and it's supremely long lasting too. Get this. That's it. You know, get this. The, this is the best fragrance you money can buy. Angel Share by, by Killian. So this is my number one today out of all the fragrances. These are some of the sweetest fragrances. You can try them all. They're different from each other. Nothing is similar, same to each other, but got similar vibes. Okay. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully you like sweet fragrances. Do not get diabetes like me. Uh, go for a little bit of a run, you know, like once in a while, uh, you know, jogging and stuff. You know, stay healthy, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tolerating me for such a long time. Just, you know, woke up early morning, 6 a.m. here. I'm going to have some tea, you know, feeling refreshing. Take care. I'll see you soon. And I uh, love you all. Bye-bye.